Thanks for tuning in to Waste Less with Jess, where I share simple tips to reduce waste at home. Hi, I'm Jessica Ramey, a waste reduction coordinator with Marion County Environmental Services. I'm here today to talk about Wasteless and talk about some DIY project that you can make at home. Today we're making some disinfectant wipes that you can easily make using old t-shirts or uh, old garments that you have hanging around and some simple supplies that you already have. Uh, the great thing about this is that you're not taking uh, paper towels and throwing them away. You're reusing them, which is great. You Maybe you have some old clothes that you can put into use. And then also about these things is that um, you know exactly what's going into these products. When you pick up something off the shelf, you don't necessarily know what that fragrance is, what those chemicals are. So follow me step by step and I'll teach you how to do it. Use any cotton fabric or old t-shirts you have and just lay it out flat. Cut off a sleeve. Then cut the seam of the sleeve. Then cut the sleeve in half. I like to cut my rags to be as big as my hand. Cut the seams of the shirt at the top. Cut the other sleeve, cutting out the seams and then in half. Now cut the shirt on the side fold going up the shirt towards the neck. Do the same on the other side. You'll then have two pieces, the front of the t-shirt and the back. Cut the shirt from the bottom to the top till you get to the start of the collar. Do the same on the other side. Now cut each length horizontally so it's roughly the same size as your hand. Do the same with the remaining t-shirt pieces. Now fold your shirt rag so they'll easily fit into the large mouth mason jar. From one extra large t-shirt, you can get 24 to 30 white rags. Now, next step is to take your jar and just start packing it in. I like to use these wide mouth mason jars because the hole is so big, so you can easily get your hand in there to get out the rags. You can fit a lot in here. One t-shirt. <laughs> Will it fit? Just try to shove them all in there. Perfect. Now let's start making the ingredients. So, I like to get out my measuring cup. Um, and then what I like to use is rubbing alcohol. Um, I've used vinegar in the past and that works too. Some people question vinegar's um, capability of disinfecting and these are disinfecting wipes. You can also make cleaning wipes if you wanted to. So um, these are disinfecting. This one I'm just using a general disinfectant um, cleaner is what I'm making. So I'm gonna use two cups of this rubbing alcohol. Um, rubbing alcohol is a great disinfectant and try to use 70% or more um, alcohol for your rubbing alcohol. That's gonna make sure all the microbes are killed there's cleaners and there's disinfectants. Cleaners help make sure that the surface is clean from debris and dirt, but it doesn't necessarily clean um, and disinfect microbes. So that's why we're using this rubbing alcohol solution. So just two cups of that. Um, the other thing that I'm going to use for this one, since it's general purpose, I'm gonna add actually a cleaner agent. So this is just pure Castile soap. Castile soap's just great 
um, for cleaning things in general. And it's unscented. The other thing that I'm going to add to this general disinfectant is um, just 10, 10 uh, drops of this lemon essential oil. You can add anything that you want. I like lemon, it smells clean and fresh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. It's fine to have a little bit more. Just mix it up. And then you're just gonna pour it over your Rex. Super easy. The other thing that you might have noticed is that I made a little, um, I made a little tag so I know exactly what that's used for. And other, more importantly, other people will know what you're using this for. It will bubble up to, you can see that it's bubbling and the rags are absorbing. Pretty exciting. So once you're done with that, it's simple, just put a lid on it and you can store it away. Now, if we want to make some other kind, um, right now coronavirus is on everybody's mind and we um, can follow the CDC regulations and guidelines to make that um, disinfectant. That essentially is just pure rubbing alcohol. So that will work. Also a solution of bleach and water. Um, make sure that you're following the CDC guidelines though. So um, I'm gonna make another batch and make that just as my COVID killer. <laughs> but I'm making sure that I'm following the guidelines.